Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss softmax activation function in artificial neural network with a simple example. In the previous video, I have discussed sigmoid, tan edge, and variants of ReLU activation functions. Link for those videos is given in the description below. Before we understand a softmax activation function, first we will understand the building block of softmax activation function. That is nothing but sigmoid or logistic activation function. Sigmoid or logistic activation function works by calculating the probability values. The values will be in the range of 0 to 1 here. This is how the curve of sigmoid or logistic activation function looks like. It is a S-shape curve here. Mathematical representation of sigmoid activation function is f of x is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus x. The values calculated by sigmoid activation function will be in the range of 0 to 1 as said earlier. They are similar to the probabilities. So that's the reason whenever we are solving uh, or expecting the values in the range of 0 to 1 like uh, probabilities, we can use sigmoid activation function. But uh, sigmoid activation function faces certain problems. Let us say that we have 5 output values like 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 and 0 0.6. Now, can we use this particular uh, sigmoid activation function to solve this particular problem? Definitely not. The reason is, if I add all these particular probabilities, the values is more than 1 over here. So, definitely we cannot use sigmoid activation function to solve such kind of problems over here. Now, what is the solution? In this particular case, what we do is, we use something called as softmax activation function. Softmax activation function is not something different here. It is just a combination of multiple sigmoid activation functions. That is, what softmax activation function does is, it will calculate the relative probabilities of each of those particular sigmoid activation functions in the artificial neural network here. Mathematical representation of uh, softmax activation function looks something like this. Softmax of zi, zi is uh, one of the sigmoid uh, activation function at a particular neuron, which is equivalent to exponential of zi divided by summation of exponential of zj over all j here. All j is nothing but all sigmoids in the neural network. For example, if you have uh, two uh, sigmoids, it will be uh, summation of uh, first uh, uh, neuron, summation of second neuron and so on. Now, uh, similar to sigmoid or logistic activation function, uh, softmax uh, function returns the probability of uh, each class. If you add all those particular probabilities, the sum will be equal to 1 in this particular case. In the previous case, that is in a sigmoid or logistic activation function, the sum was not equal to 1 over there. This uh, softmax activation function is commonly used in the last layer of uh, neural network whenever we are solving a multi-class classification problem. If you have a two-class uh, classification problem, uh, softmax is not necessary, but if you are solving a multi-class classification problem, in such cases, uh, softmax will play a very important role in this particular case. Now, let us take a simple example to understand uh, softmax activation function. Let us assume that uh, there are three classes are there uh, for the given problem definition. Uh, in that case, uh, we need to have three neurons in the output layer. That's a very important thing we need to remember. Let us assume that the output from each neuron is equal to 1.8, 0.9 and 0.68. If this is the case, uh, we cannot go with something called as sigmoid activation function. So here what we do is we will apply softmax activation function and then we will calculate the relative probabilities. That is nothing but if I act, apply this uh, relative probability formula or softmax activation function, the 1.8 is converted into 0.58. That is nothing but 1.8 that is the numerator divided by sum of all these three, which is equal to 0.58. Similarly, this 0 0.9 is converted into 0 0.23, that is 0 0.9 divided by sum of all these things, that is nothing but this is the formula over here. Similarly, 0 0.6 is, is converted into 0 0.19 over here. And if I add all these three, we will be getting 1 as the probability in this case. Once you calculate these particular probabilities, the softmax function returns 1 for the largest probability and 0 for the other probabilities here. So in this case, you can notice uh, 0.58 is the largest probability, so it will return 1 for this one, for the remaining 2 it will return 0 here. So the probability 1 is present at 0th index, so 0 will be written as the final answer. The meaning of this one is, the output of this uh, problem definition corresponds to the neuron 1 here. 
that is uh, the class corresponds to neuron 1 will be the outcome of this particular thing so this is how we can easily apply the softmax activation function on the last layer of uh, artificial neural network so that we can calculate the relative probabilities based on the relative probabilities we will assign a class to that particular problem here this is how the softmax activation function works i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching